Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over the August 2024 Algebra 1 Regents exam. In this video, we're looking at part 4, which is the final part to this test and is worth 6 points. A link to this test will be found in the description of this video if you want to follow along at home. That being said, we're going to look at 35, which says that Jen joined the favorite fan movie club at a local movie theater. At this theater, the cost of admission in May and June remains the same. In May, she saw two matinees and three regularly priced shows. Let me just highlight that. Two matinees and three regularly priced shows and spent $38.50. In June, she spent she went to six matinees and one regularly priced show and she spent $47.50. The question asks us to write a system of equations to represent the cost M of a matinee ticket and the cost R of a regularly priced ticket. So whenever we have a system of equations, we're looking for two or more uh, equations that kind of that are supposed to represent what's going on in our situation. Right? A system always means that there's going to be more than one of something. So in this case, we're going to have two. And that's going to represent the amount of money she spent when she bought M tickets and R tickets. Right. So in this case, we're going to have to model how much she spent in May. So if we look at how much she spent in May, she saw two matinees and three regularly priced shows. Right. So each matinee, which is just a movie that's played during the day, um, is worth M dollars. Right. So if she saw two matinees, and each one of them is worth M dollars, that's going to be 2M or M plus M. M plus M turns into or is equal to 2M. Okay, so if you add 2M, that's the price of going to two matinees. And if you add that to 3R, that's going to equal to $38.50. Why? Because it tells us that she saw two matinees and the price of one matinee is M. So that's going to be 2M. And she saw three regularly priced shows the cost of one show is R. So if you saw three shows, that would be R plus R plus R or three R, right? We just simplify that into that. And if you add both of these up, you're gonna get her total price of $38.50. Now, if I leave it at like this and move on to my second part, am I gonna get full points? No, because remember, a system of equation is asking you for more than one equation. We're forgetting about June. So we have to represent what she found, what she did in June. So it's the same thing. She went to six matinees. So each matinee costs M dollars. If she wants to six of them, that's going to be 6M plus one regularly priced show, which is just R, right? Because R represents the cost of one regular show. And if you add those together, she's going to spend $47.50. So now this is the correct system of equations for this problem. 3M plus 2M plus 3R is equal to 38.50. 6M plus R is equal to 47.50. Jen said, that she spent $5.75 on each matinee and $9 on each regular show. So now this part, the second part is saying that she did the math, she solved for M and R, and she said that M is equal to $5.75 and R is equal to nine bucks. And we have to see if she's correct. Now, this is a rule for every single system of equations. The solution has to be true for every equation in the system, right? So the system is made up of more than one equation. The solution has to be true for everything. So in this case, she solved for M. She said that M is equal to 575, and she solved for R, and she said that R is equal to 9. That means that if you plug these two values into either one of these equations, they're going to be true. So in order to see if she's correct, we're going to have to verify her answer, right? We're going to have to either agree or disagree with her. The best way to do that, the best way to see if she's right, plug it in. So Let's pretend like, yeah, M and R are $5.75 and $9. Let's see if it makes both of these true. So over here, we have 2 times $5.75. We're just plugging in the values. Plus 3 times 9 is equal to, and I have a calculator on board. Just plug this into your calculator. 2 times 5.75 plus 3 times 9 is going to equal to 38.5 right? So these two values satisfy the first equation. Does that mean that she's correct? No, we can't say that yet because the rule is these two values have to satisfy all of the equations here, both of them in this case. So now we have to check if it makes the second equation true. So I'm going to do that in a different color. So now let's plug in 575 for M and 9 for R into this bottom, this red equation. So now we have 6 times 575 plus 9 and if we plug that into our calculator, 6 times 575 plus 9 is going to equal to 43.50. So if we look at this, is this the same value? No, these are two different values. So this set of numbers makes the first one true, but it does not make the second one true. 
in order for this to be the right answer, it has to make both of the equations true. So this cannot be the correct answer. This cannot be the right price because it only makes one true. So is Jen correct? No, we can say that Jen is not correct. And our justification is that um, six times 575 plus nine is not equal to 47, not 45, but 47 dollars and 50 cents, right? So this is not a solution to the system of equations. Uh, M is equal to 575 and R is equal to nine is not a solution to the system of equations. Right, so remember it has to make both of them true. In this case, it only made the top one true, not the bottom one, right? This was not equal to $47.50, so she's not correct. Now, the final part is asking us to actually calculate or calculate the correct pricing for both. So in this case, you're going to have to take 6M plus R is equal to $47.50, and you're gonna to have to take 2M plus 3R is equal to $38.50 and somehow solve for M and solve for R. Now, this may be daunting to a lot of students, this may look difficult, but all you need to do is just create an equation that doesn't have M or that doesn't have R. You need to somehow cancel out M or R. And I'll show you what I mean by that right now. So pretend like you had these two equations. Let's say that this was a different problem that told you that 6M, that was supposed to be six. So let's say that it said that 6M plus 2r is equal to 8, and that 6m plus r is equal to 7. So in this case, what you could do to solve for m and to solve for r is just to subtract the two equations, right? Because if we subtract this, we know that 6m minus 6m is going to equal to 0. So now we have 0m. And remember that anything times 0 is equal to 0. So essentially, we have nothing there. The m's cancel out. And if we subtract 2r minus r, that's the same thing as saying 2 minus 1, which is 1, or just r, right? 1 times r is r. So now we have r is equal to 1. And now we have solved for one of these values, and we could just plug that back in. So if we know that r is equal to 1, we can just plug it into, let's say, this equation. We have 6m plus 1 is equal to 7. 6m, oh, you know, go all the way to the right. We can say that 6m 6m, if we subtract 1 on both sides, is equal to 6, and that m is also equal to 1, right? So that's how we would solve that. But the first step to getting there is to cancel out one of the terms, either 6m or r. In this case, we can't really do that because we have different values for the top and bottom. If I subtract these two from one another, none of them are going to cancel out. I'm going to get 4m minus 2r, right, or negative 2r. It's not going to help us. So what I need to solve, or I need to do to solve, is I need to either convert this two into a six or this one into a three so that one of these terms can cancel out. And I'm gonna do it to the top one first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this one R into a three R so that these two R's can cancel out. How am I gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna multiply it by three because R times three is equal to three R. So I'm gonna multiply the uh, entire equation by three. I can't just multiply this r by 3. I have to do it to the entire equation. And when I do that, I'm going to get 3 times 6m is going to be equal to 18m. So I'm going to have 18m. And we have 3 times r is going to equal to 3r. And when you plug it into your calculator, 47.5 times 3 is equal to 142.5. So this is going to equal to 142.50. And now I have 3r on the top and the bottom and I can subtract these two equations from one another. I'll do that in black. And get m on its own. So we have 18m minus 2m, and that's going to equal to 16m. So we have 16m plus 3r minus 3r is equal to 0. Like we said, these two terms cancel each other out. So it's actually equal to nothing. So just 6m or 16m. And that's going to equal to... 142.5 minus 38.5, which is equal to 104. So now, in order to solve for m, I just divide both sides by 16. 16s cancel out, and I get that m is equal to 104 divided by 16, 
which is 6.5. So now I have my first step complete. I know what m is equal to. My next step is even easier. I just plug in 6.5 into either one of these equations and solve for r. So I'm going to plug it into this bottom equation over here. So we have 2 times 6.5 because we already we know what, what m is equal to plus 3r is equal to 38.5. So 2 times 6.5 is equal to 13. We have 13 plus 3r is equal to 38.5. I'm going to subtract 13 from both sides. Um, so 38.5 minus 13 is going to equal to 25.5. 3r is equal to 25.5. If I divide both sides by 3r, I'm going to, or divide both sides just by 3, not 3r. Dividing by 3 so I can cancel out the coefficient or number in front. I'm going to get that r is equal to 8.5. So the solution to this, the correct solution is going to be that m is equal to 6.5 and that r is equal to 8.5. That would be the correct answer. And you can check your work by plugging these two values back into the equations, right? If you do 2 times 6.5 plus 3 times 8.5, you will in fact get $38.50. And if you plug 6 times 6.5 plus 8.5, you will get uh, $47.50. So that's how you know that you're correct. But again, the solution or the way of solving the system of inequalities problem would just be to make the two terms equal to, make at least one of the two terms equal to one another so that you can subtract them, cancel them out, and just get one of the terms alone. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about this part of the regions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'll try and address them. Uh, if you want me to go over a specific test or specific question, also please let me know in the comments. Hope you guys learned something from this and I hope you all have a good day.